speak Darkness has to bow Confusion has its final hour Well, good morning and welcome to the Thursday Three. It is a serious thing just to be alive on this fresh day in this broken world. You know, sometimes if I'm honest, even when things are going well in my life, I have a sort of ache, like a spiritual ache in my heart. And sometimes I feel guilty about that because I look at how much I have and how many blessings I have and terrible situations other people are in. And I'm like, I shouldn't, I don't have a right to feel that. I, I shouldn't feel this kind of ache. But listen to what C.S. Lewis tells us in his book, The Weight of Glory. The sense that in this universe, we are treated as strangers. The longing to be acknowledged, to meet with some response, to bridge some chasm that yawns between us and reality is part of our inconsolable secret. And surely from this point of view, the promise of glory in the sense described becomes highly relevant to our deep desire. For glory meant good report with God, acceptance by God, response, acknowledgement, and welcome into the heart of things. The door on which we have been knocking all our lives will open at last. We have this ache, we have this desire, exactly because we want to be truly, fully in the presence of God. And that day is coming. We will no longer be strangers wandering this world feeling that existential angst, we will be welcomed into the heart of things. This is the promise of God himself. He can be trusted. Let us remember this as we prepare to go out into this day. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much that this ache and discontent that we often have when we slow down enough to allow ourselves to feel it. It's not a sign of some defect in us, but is actually a blessing. It confirms to us that you are at work. It confirms to us that we were made for something more. It confirms to us that there is a home that is waiting for us. As we prepare to go out into this day, help us to rest in the big picture. Our lives are part of the story you were telling, and this story ends well. Open our eyes this day to the beauty of the world you gave us, Help us to be satisfied in walking in your ways through this day. We ask it in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Well, friends, thanks again for being with me. You can see there on the right, there's three ways you can engage with our church. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. face shine upon you, be gracious to you, the Lord turn his face toward